And you say that you have been experiencing dreams, hmm? Dreams that are vivid and peculiar? Yes, that is exactly it! May I ask, what were you eating before you fell asleep? Krabby Patty, I guess. I love Krabby Patties! I, too, indulged in a crumb. A mere morsel, mind you, of succulent Krabby Patty. Well, then, the circumstances are quite clear. The particular chemical composition of these Krabby Patties must have affected your unconscious biorhythms and so altered your dreams. This is not uncommon with the Krabby Patty snacks. Especially late at night. How do you know so much about Krabby Patties, Doctor? Is it not obvious? I am that Krabby Patty. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever want to wake from this living nightmare, I suggest we catch that patty. He's right! After that Krabby Patty! Wait a minute. That guy wasn't a guy at all. Oh, he was the Krabby Patty! You join us at the mind-bending carnival raceway for what promises to be an unusual race. It all looks perfectly normal to me, Rick.
charges are all occupied. Occupies here. Oh, yeah! Feel the skills, people! Love that rocket, Patrick! Nice to see you, big guy! Another letter from a Mr. E. Kraft, and he asks, where's me fry cook? <laughs> That's a very good question. A very good question indeed. I guess this was a dream after all. What a vivid imagination I have. Now to get you back to the Krusty Krab where you belong. We want Krabby Patties. Yeah, where's our food? Huh? Sorry, I'm late. Stand aside. <laughs> Hey, stupid! I said without relish! One Krabby Patty, no relish, coming right up. Why is everybody staring at me? Have I always had this shell? Meow!
the work today. I've lost my single Krabby Patty Crumb! <laughs> After all of these years of scheming and plotting, only to be thwarted! Oh, here it is. a special treat, a Krabby Patty. Mm, maybe you shouldn't eat it before bedtime. It might give you nightmares. And you say that you have been experiencing dreams. You join us at the mind-bending carnival raceway for what promises to be an unusual race. It all looks perfectly normal to me, Rick. Three, two, one, go! Go, rocket ship. You can do it. Always getting left behind. See you at the finish line, SpongeBob! Do you know the way to the finish line? Whoa! Hey, SpongeBob! Hey, watch out with that mallet! Hello, worm guys! I don't like it. It's spooky. Hey, look, SpongeBob, you're in my dream! I hate to disappoint you, pal, but it's definitely my dream. You certainly don't see that every day. Not unless you live here, which you don't. Go, rocket ship! You can do it! And look at the young competitor, Patrick Star, go! And where do you think he gets that name? I give up. The fair! I love the fair! What's it like being in my dream, Patrick? I bet it's pretty cool! Oh, don't be silly, dream SpongeBob. It's my dream, not yours. Hello! Hello, Dream Plankton! Stop trespassing in my dream, you! I don't even know your name and you still curse my dreams! That's funny. 
I thought I was cursing my own dream. Zoom! I'm the fastest starfish in Dreamland! I don't think I've ever seen anything like that! This is simply the most extraordinary race I have ever watched! You think he knows what's at stake, Dale? If there's one thing I know, it's that I know that he knows what's at stake. And what is at stake, Dale? I don't know! Well, let me tell you, the Patty Trophy is just the beginning. The real prize is escaping from this bad dream, and that's a prize that money can't buy. Hello, Mr. Plankton. What lovely form you have, Mr. Monster. Hello, worm guys. Who threw that? Can you believe that? If I hadn't just seen it through my own antennae, I don't think I would have believed it. This place is strange. It me of home. I'm the fastest starfish in Dreamland! Go, rocket ship. You can do it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Well, this is a dream come true. Huh? Hey, no fair. Stop moving. Come back and be eaten. And you say that you have been experiencing... You join us at the mind-bending carnival raceway for what promises to be an unusual race. It all looks perfectly normal to me, Rick. my subconscious creates. How exhilarating! 
Even the depths of my brain are out to get me. Eat my dust, lesser racers! What are your hopes for the plankton on Hovercraft? Same as ever, Rick. I have no idea. Like today wasn't weird enough. Now I'm racing through my own subconscious. How exhilarating! I don't know what that doctor was talking about. This is all perfectly normal. Eat my dust, lesser racers! to have size and stature again. If this is all a dream, then if so facto, I could do nothing and then I'd wake up. On the other hand, I can't let these hip squeaks beat me. It's a calamity! Oh, I do amuse myself sometimes. I would have thought that my subconscious was less... I don't know... Festive! Mike, he is half committed to his god. Laura Flankton is a very competitive guy. Have you seen the length he'll go to get his hands on a Krabby Patty? Good point, dear. And this Patty Trophy is even more valuable than that, because winning it is the only way he'll wake up. No way! Yes way! This is simply the most extraordinary race I have ever watched. How exhilarating! Racers. This must be what they call the Wave a letter here from an S tentacle. He asked, what's the strangest race you ever watched? I'd say without a shadow of a doubt, it might be this one. Well, I can't disagree with you there. Now, Krusty Krab, I, Plankton the Magnificent, have created the greatest Krabby Patty franchise in the world! <laughs> Are you sure about that? What the Patty is, the Patty can take it away! Thank you. 